<laughs> Thank you. Hey. Where are we? I have no idea. I thought we were teleporting into the studio. There must be something wrong with these teleporters. I guess we're doing the show from here. <laughs> I guess so. Thank you, Jason David Frank. And Mr. Saban. That's Tom. And that's Chris. The Morphing Grand. What is it? I'm going to break it down for you. It's, it's PRNT time. time. This episode of PRNT, your source for all things Power Rangers. Rangers. On this episode, I'm going to use my science background and apply it to the morphing grid. I'm going to talk about what the morphing grid is and some theories we have behind it. That's right. So, uh, Tom, why don't you teleport on out of here and uh, morph up? All right, I want to see if I can get this thing working. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Kinda looks like our studio, but it's still not exactly right. I better make sure there's no one around. Okay, I'm good. It's science time! Science teacher power! Ha! 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 Oh, man, this feels pretty good. I like this. Hey, about time you uh, got here. Yeah, I, uh, I tried to follow behind you, but uh, I think I ended up in China for a second. Did you grab me a fortune co cookie? <laughs> no, but we really need to get these things checked I know. out. We'll, we'll get Alpha on. Aye, aye, aye. For sure. Alright, so, Morphing Grid. Let's talk about it. Alright, uh, I have a few questions, and okay. you can use your sciencey stuff to answer them for us. Okay. Alright, so first off, the basic question. Yep. What is the morphing grid? Okay. Morphing grid is the thing that allows the rangers to have their powers. <sighs> I know. But <laughs> going more in detail in that, the morphing grid is energy. Okay. Okay. We know it takes energy to do almost everything. That's why we have to eat, you know, like three meals a day. We need that energy to go about our daily functions. It takes energy to do everything, including metamorphosizing, okay? So we need energy to do that. So the morphing grid is energy that allows the rangers to morph, okay? It allows them for some of their weapons. Uh, sometimes even the zords are connected to the morphing grid, okay? Now, Let's try and visualize the morphing grid. Okay. Okay. I think the morphing grid is in a pocket dimension. Okay? okay. And that pocket dimension is able to span multiple universes. All right? That's how the rangers here are able to get their powers. And the rangers of RPM are able to get their powers. So we know RPM is in a different universe. Right. Okay. So I think the, the morphing grid is energy that's in a pocket dimension that can span all those universes. Now, we know it can't be just around Earth, okay? There have been rangers that have been outside of Earth. Oh, right, like the rangers of Akotar. Yep. And uh, Lost Galaxy. Right. Uh, even a little bit of in space, they're not always on Earth. Right. Yeah. So... The morphing grid can't be around Earth. It has to be able to span the universes. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Well, if, if it's energy, if mm -hmm. it's something that's constantly here when we need it, right. why can't we see it? That is because energy can be invisible. All right. Okay. All right, so I want you to think of radio waves. Right. right. By definition... A wave is something that carries energy. Okay. okay. So radio waves 
carry energy. But we know they're there. How do we know that? Uh, tuning into your radio. Exactly. Okay. So we know that the radio waves are there, and since it's a wave, it carries energy. Okay? So energy can be invisible, even though we know it's there. Okay, so we've seen in most scenarios uh, okay. one team of Power Rangers at a time. Right. Why don't they all have their powers and just continually fight all the bad guys all the time? Okay, that, as we've seen, is because the Morphing Grid can only support one team of Rangers at a time, okay? Think of the White Ranger and Dino Thunder, Trent, okay? Uh, Mesogon cloned the White Ranger, so there were two white energies, two beings that had access to the white Dino Power. Right. And we saw what happened to that. They grew weaker. They had to fight each other all the time to try and finish each, each, each other off because they both couldn't exist at the same time. Zordon even mentions this in the Wild West Ranger episode. Okay, Kimberly go, gets stuck in a time loop. She goes back in time, uh, back to the 1880s. Okay, and Goldar is there too. So what Kimberly, being very smart, is she teleports to the command center of the 1880s. Okay, Zordon and Alpha are there, of, of course, and Kimberly tells uh, them the story of what happened, and to help her, Zordon gives her the power coins that he has, remember this is the 1880s, okay, so he has them still because he hasn't given the power coins to them in 93 yet. Right. Okay, so he gives them all of the power coins but the pink one, because there can't be too much pink energy at one time. But there can never be too much Kimberly. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is very true. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, that raises the question then, how have crossover episodes happened, and specifically the legendary battle? Right. Okay. It's because we know the Morphing Grid is balanced between good and evil. Right? Lord Zed even mentions it. And you actually proposed this theory that yes. the morphing grid is a self-conscious entity, okay? Which I believe that's proven uh, in the Dino Thunder Lost episode when you actually hear the morphing grid speak. Right. Yeah, it, it actually speaks to Ethan and to Kira. Okay, but we, we think that the morphing grid is able to self-think for itself. And because it's balanced between good and evil, if there's an influx of evil, in order to stay balanced, there must also be an influx of good, mm. okay? So the morphing grid is able to kind of boost its power a little bit to get that balance back out. And instead of going back four, five, six power teams, why not just go back to the last one? That's where the connection is still strong, okay? So that's how we think the, the, the crossover episodes are able to happen. Now, the legendary battle, so much evil, that the Morphin Grid just decided it wasn't going to mess around, and <laughs> it brought them all back. That's right. You know? So, the, the, the Morphin Grid balanced between good and evil, and it's able to self-conscious. It's able to uh, think for itself. I, I would like to do a non science side note. Best crossover over episode, in my opinion, forever read. All right, the best. Yeah, that is, that is All right, totally back to your scheduled science. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, the last point is we know also that the Morphin Grid contains a record of Power Rangers history. Okay, we saw that again in the last episode of Dino Thunder. Uh, it was it took the info from Etha, Ethan and uh, Kira and kind of wrote that down, put it in its memory banks, okay? Uh, so the fe the past, present, and future rangers could have access to that. Um, and we also know this is how the man himself, Tommy, or Jason David Frank, I love you, JDF. This is how he was able to create his video diary in Dino Thunder even though he wasn't part of all those ranger teams. He wasn't Aww. part of Lightspeed Rescue. He wasn't part of Time Force, okay? Mm -hmm. But still, he he had all those in his video diary because we theorize again that the Morphing Grid came to him, uh, somebody that it knew probably more than anybody else, <laughs> okay? And allowed him to access that energy to create his video diary in case anything should ever happen to him. 
So, uh, those are the things we know about the marketing grid. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Man, I am so excited for Science of the Morphin Grids parts two, three, and however more we do. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you go here, you'll be able to like us on Facebook. And if you go here, you can follow us on Twitter. <laughs> the links are also down in the description right. below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we sign off, remember our hope is that the power will always protect you. Let's power down. It's PRNT time. Oh, sorry, I just... We need something to put in the middle. Yeah, we need your own hose. No? Okay. Back to you, sir. Thank you. Alright, so, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, seriously. We're just gonna continue the show like always. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright. Welcome, Rangers.